Shadab Rahil, director at the Paradigm Group, is joining me in studio. Today we're going to be speaking about the growing trend around mobile payments. Hello. Hello. Mobile payments, it's a very interesting topic to me. Everyone is speaking about mobile and mobile payments. I mean, even here, um, we're trying to get everything on mobile. Is this what's happening across the globe? Definitely is, mm. especially in America and Europe. Uh, the trend is, uh, has been there for a while and it's about to explode. Uh, according to stats, uh, 2016 will be a big year. They're going to triple the amount of uh, value that goes through mobile payments in America. Now, when you say 2016 is going to be a big year, what does that mean? What can we expect? Uh, because of penetration of NFC technology onto the banking terminals, uh, where you currently swap your credit cards, uh, the penetration of uh, NFC uh, enablement of contactless technologies and N NFC on those terminals makes it a lot easier for merchants to accept mobile payments. So, so far it has been a chicken and egg situation. Where does the consumer accept, uh, take his mobile payment and where can he uh, have, uh, have this accepted? Uh, and because contactless technology was not there uh, in the previous years, uh, it was a bit uh, of a difficult uh, scenario. But now because of the rollout uh, due to EMV compliance, in, especially in America, uh, this is going to be widely accepted now, especially the NFC side like Apple Pay, Google Wallet, mm -hmm. um, Android Pay, Samsung are coming out with their own payment mechanism, uh, Samsung Pay. So those will be the leaders in mm -hmm. that market. Maybe not in South Africa or Africa, but in European and uh, 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 North American market. Apple Pay and Google Pay and uh, Samsung Pay, they will take the lead. Now we're talking about America here. When can we expect to see these um, global payment solutions that you just mentioned in Africa or in South Africa? Look, uh, in Africa, uh, I'm sure you've heard of M-Pesa. M-Pesa mm -hmm. has been doing very well as a mobile payment mechanism for quite a few years already. This is way before America got, got uh, Apple Pay uh, got into this and American companies uh, got into this thing. So Africa has taken the lead already, I would say. Uh, M-Pesa is one of the biggest uh, and most successful uh, stories out there on mobile payments. Mm -hmm. It has been very successful in Kenya, but it's operated by mobile networks. Yeah. Those are the players. So the players in the market is mobile networks. They are banks. They are device manufacturers. And then in the end, they are tech companies like ourselves who offer these uh, kind of solutions. So in Africa, other than South Africa, in Africa, adop adoption is there and it's going quite well. Mm -hmm. The problem will be a little bit in, uh, in South Africa because we are highly banked sector. Uh, in our country, bank cars are quite penetrative. And in Africa, th there was no such thing. Banks mm -hmm. were not so big. So the consumers in Africa directly took a jump from cash to mobile much easier for us. It really does seem like they almost skipped a step they in skipped the rest a of step, Africa. Definitely, they skipped a step. And, uh, and that's why it was a lot easier for us now we are a bit mature market from a banking perspective. Mm -hmm. So for us to move from away from cards to mobile banking, it's a change of mindset. It's a change, it's education, marketing. So big retailers, they need to launch acceptance of mobile uh, as a mobile as a payment mechanism. And then there will be some uh, adoption. Right now, people don't really know uh, in South Africa how these things actually work. Um, do I scan a barcode? Do I tap my phone? There are multiple mechanisms out there. So it's part of adoption period probably in the next couple of years. We will mm -hmm. see slowly but surely uh, some in increase in mobile payments in South Africa. Why has Africa taken that lead s even past South Africa and past America and Europe when it comes to mobile payments, especially with M-Pesa? Why has that happened? I would say it's lack of infrastructure rather. Mm -hmm. uh, that was dr uh, driver for this lack of banking. Uh, lack, um, the uh, infrastructure because uh, in, t in Africa, uh, you don't get hard lines, hard communication lines like you have ADSL, yeah. good communication network uh, in place in uh, South Africa and European and American country, uh, North American countries. In Africa, that's a challenge. Mobile networks are quite penetrative. So the, the good thing uh, uh, in Africa was mobile phone usage was quite high and mobile networks use that uh, communication network to deploy uh, their payment mechanism mm -hmm. and that's why I it took off quite drastically. Now when Apple Pay and Google Pay and Samsung Pay and all these different pays eventually come to South Africa, what can we expect? Is it going to be an electronic wallet? Are we not going to need our wallets anymore? Not in the short term though. Mm. Eventually that's the idea, uh, but uh, I don't see that happening in the short term, but in the medium to long term that is the objective of these payment mechanisms. Um, 
Apple Pay and Google Pay are a bit far from South, uh, at, at this stage, coming to South Africa. Other technologies are already here. Uh, Stamp Bank has launched their own SnapScan. Um, there are private companies like ourselves launching our own uh, payment applications. Uh, there are third other third parties launching applications. So before Apple Pay and Google Pay comes to South Africa, there will be already some penetration in South Africa with local providers uh, offering us local uh, localized solution uh, for South African market. It's a different market.